hydrated with that temperature around 100 today. Goodness. Yeah, no joke out there. So we got a couple counties that have a heat advisory in effect. Maybe you want to get out there and wash the car. I would do that right now because okay. the heat ramping up, it's going to become somewhat dangerous, uh, especially for folks susceptible to heat. All right. So let's listen to our bodies today. That's why I've got yellow for the car wash forecast today, tomorrow and Tuesday for heat safety. Wednesday is because not only heat, but rain and thunderstorm chances start to ramp up. Heat advisory, Callaway, Trigg, Christian, Todd, and Muhlenberg counties in Kentucky. I think in the coming days, more counties will be added. That's from one today until eight tonight. Uh, heat index in the city of about 102 today. Most areas ranging 100 to 104. But some of those spots in Kentucky, 105 and greater, hence the heat advisory we showed you. Flirting with advisory criteria Monday and Tuesday, right at it by Wednesday. And there's a drop by Thursday. Heat index values going to the mid-90s with air temperatures in the mid-80s after these triple-digit to near-triple-digit highs. Average high is 91. The reason for the drop, a cold front on the way. 72 in Cookville, 73 in Portland, 75 for Nashville, Bowling Green, 71 in Columbia and Fayetteville right now. As far as what it feels like, temperatures for most of us about a degree or two warmer than the actual air temperature when it comes to the heat index. These numbers today, though, again, 100 to 104 for most. That will be the range. There's no rainfall to talk about on the Power of 5 radars right now. Similar to yesterday, some lucky few will see a pop-up shower thunderstorm, about a 10% chance. But that's really not the focus of the forecast. The focus is that heat. Exact track shows the majority of us dry. Here's that pop up chance I mentioned getting into the afternoon. Things will taper off after sunset. A somewhat muggy night, mostly clear. And then tomorrow, copy, paste, we're doing it all over again. What we did yesterday, what we're going to do today, that'll be the case tomorrow and Tuesday before a decent cold front brings some better chances for rain by the middle of the week. Right now, a live look from Skycam over at the Batman building, 75 degrees across Nashville. Winds are currently calm at this time. As we take a look at our Skynet site in Clarksville, 75 degrees right now. It is a warm start out there, a little bit of haze as well. 80 and Donaldson atop the Sinesta Hotel. This is our Skynet site with the camera pointed towards the beautiful BNA terminal there. Hot day to be flying out. Hopefully AC is working not only in the airport, I'm sure it is, but also on those aircraft. As again, it is a warm way to start the day. And we'll take you to Franklin where it's 78 degrees right now. So beat the heat today. Area malls, 100 degrees outside, but you got AC inside. 99 degrees on Monday. Those mid-70s for overnight lows don't provide a lot of relief. You know, I was just thinking about that new passport uh, deal they've got going on at BNA where you can apply and it allows you to go through security and check out the restaurants. That could be something fun to look into to stay indoors and beat the heat and check out all the great restaurants uh, the airport now has to offer and shops there. We'll see temperatures dropping into the 80s by Thursday, Friday, and Saturday for highs, lows in the 60s. That is courtesy of a cold front. But, Tony, today and the next couple of days, we got to make sure we're staying hydrated and mm -hmm. taking frequent breaks as well in that heat.